Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to do some more messing with letters and type. So let's... Letter, landscape. Let's create this thing. And let's see. Let me make that bigger. Okay. Here we go. We got our character window open. Pathfinder open. I think it's good right now. Appearance. I don't know if I need that so much. We'll make this a little smaller. And yeah, layers. Okay. So um, what I want to do is just go with some of the tools that we've learned uh, with creating outlines with text and just show how we can do things with it and how it's going to allow us to do certain effects uh, for things like logos or, um, uh, you know, mostly something like a logo or a heading or I mean, it could be something for a shirt, um, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our type tool and we're going we're to start with some simple uh, ligatures here, which is uh, ligature is just connecting letters and you see it all the time in logos and whatnot so let's do let's just try an f capital f and a capital a okay so i'm going to type those thing it could be this could be like a uh, initials for a company or something so i'm going to transform it larger i'm going to hold down shift and i'll zoom in a bit okay so here it is so what i want to do with this one is just show show you how i could uh connect these crossbars here, okay? And kind of draw something like that. Uh, I do want to switch from Myriad Pro. Um, I do want to find something um, San Serif, I think, for this. And let's see. So this is, um, normally if you have a design, we would be, um, working with an idea or something for a product, but I don't really have any exact idea for anything here. I just want to find a font. I'm looking for one that lines up if, if anything looks closer, but it looks like most fonts have that A crossbar a bit lower. So let's see. Let's just try, let's just try and do it to a Helvetica here, okay? Okay, so now I've got an issue. I've got this A lower than the F. Um, I have to decide whether I want to kern it at all. So I'm going to use my character window. I'm going to put the cursor between those two letters. And look at that. It's already kerned for some reason. I'm going to put it at zero and see what it is. Okay, that is kind of far for what I want to do. I do want to keep it a little bit tighter. So I'm going to bring that in. Maybe something like that. Okay, so it's kerned. Let's say I'm ready to create my outlines here. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to go to ob or not object, sorry, type. Then I'm going to go to create outlines. And now I'm ready to kind of mess with my font and stuff. So I got to do a couple things. One, I have to extend this crossbar across. And another is I have to get rid of this crossbar on the A because I need to raise it. So let's see here what I can do with my shape. So now if I just took my pen and I got rid of my crossbar and I try to get rid of it here like this, it's going to do that. It's going to close off the counter, the, the space between uh, the A, the, the, the triangle shape. So I don't want to do that. I need to separate kind of this so it becomes like, uh, so the shape kind of reacts differently. So let's see, one way I could, easy way I could do this. Um, I suppose I could cut it if I wanted to, but I mean, for me, just the fastest thing I can think of is to grab that shape here. Let's click on them both. I just made a little square there. Selected them both. I'm gonna use my Pathfinder tool to minus the front, okay? Just super easy. It just is the tool I am, I saw and it was handy. And now, I can take my pen tool and I can go ahead and click on these anchor points here. And get rid of that crossbar. Now I do have to kind of watch what it does because it did kind of change the line a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you noticed. But it looks like 
looks like the letter was actually thicker up here than it is there. So you'd have to kind of decide how you want to deal with that. Just be aware that sometimes little oddities like that are are actually there in your text. But that's okay. I think it's I can live with this for now and see how it looks. Let's take a look. Okay. So next, I'm going to take my F, and I want to just grab these two points right here. So all I'm going to do is go like this. I'm going to select them by getting the white arrow, which will directly select part of this. So I selected these two points. Now I'm going to drag it across, and I'm going to hold Shift, like so. And there we go. And now I can see I need to tighten this up more. So it looks too far. So I'm going to take the A. I'm going to select it with a white arrow because if I use a black arrow, oh, it separated them. So I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, did it separate them? Oh, interesting. It did separate them. I thought they would be in the same group. Don't ask me why they're separated because I have no idea. But let's see. Let's move it back. And it does look a little awkward, and I can see why you would want to place the uh, the uh, crossbar lower. But let's say this was my design, and there it is. Now I can join them together if I want by selecting them both. Pathfinder tool. There we go. Nice. Say so I've got my uh, little FA design here. Let's change the color. That's too obnoxious. <laughs> Maybe not obnoxious. Stands out too much. There we go. Nice calming green. Okay, cool. There's one little uh, ligature we got going. Okay, let's try another one. Similar idea. Let's try it again with... Uh, let's try a T and a Z. Capital T, capital Z. So we get this crossbar up top. This will be an easy one. But let's make it a little harder and switch our font. Let's try. And if you do not have the same fonts I have, it's totally fine. The main thing I would say to try to get is either a serif font, if I'm using one, or a sans serif font, or if we're using a bold font, try and find one that's bold. Um, it is not in any way imperative that you have the exact same fonts that I have. Okay, let's see. Let, let's just try Well, I'll try one that I think most people would have. You'd most likely have Times New Roman. So let's get it. There you are, Times. Okay. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is kind of kern it into place, and I want to share the stroke here. And I've got this um, serif, so it's going to cause some issues. But let's see how tight I can get these here. So I'm bringing it in, and I don't think I want these to touch on the bottom, So, but I do want them to be pretty close. Okay, so there it is. Um, let's try and create outlines and see what happens. Type, create outlines. There you are. Okay, so I think what I'm going to need to do is just erase this whole little serif section when it kind of starts to dip down here in this curve. So I'm going to, once again, select it. Then I'm going to go to my eraser tool. And to make it smaller, I'm going to use a brackets. So the brackets are uh, on the keyboard are a great way to make your pen tool, eraser tool, smaller really quickly. OK, so here's where it looks like it kind of curves down. So I'm going to get it there. And I'll keep the top. OK, I think that looks good. Well, it doesn't look good, but it looks like what I need. <laughs> it doesn't look good yet. Okay, so now I've got the Z, and once again, I want to make sure I get this part where it's starting to curve down. There we go. Okay, so I can uh, do a couple things. Um, so you can select this shape. Okay, there's a lot of little shapes in here. So that less than this one. Okay, that's good. So I can move my points and try and just kind of fill it in this way. It just looks like it's getting a little twisted here. I have too many points. So I actually would want to get rid of some of these points. So it becomes simpler. That's a handlebar. Okay, that's okay. 
Let's see. And I'm going to hold down Shift so it snaps into place. And check out, it's actually a different width than the other. Um, the uh, other top here of this T. That's really interesting. So we'd have to deal with those things. Again, weird things happen. Let's see if I can get rid of that one. There we go. That looks a little better. And this uh, handlebar, I'm going to bring that in just so I don't have it. Oh, and I actually exposed a little bit of the T. But that's not a big deal. Again, whoops. Here I can uh, start moving my points around. I could start getting rid of points if I wanted to. Um, it always kind of, in the end, usually ends up to be better to just simplify the madness. Get rid of that one. I can't get rid of that one. Doesn't want me to. Okay. Then I have to deal with this uh, bottom part here. So I have to decide whether I want to make my Z thicker or if I want to make the T uh, thicker. Um, so I think I will just line it up here with this anchor point and bring it over to that point right there. And that might mean I have to lower this just a smidge. But even that could get finicky, and you know, as I'm thinking about it, I think the easiest thing to do would be just be to make a rectangle go all the way across, and just kind of line it up, and cover up that little uh, little difference there. Okay, I want to make sure I cover it. I want to get right on it. Let's move it down slightly. So sometimes the increments are too small um, in Illustrator, and they're hard to uh, hard to get right. Huh? There we go. So zooming in will help, and I can see here I have a little bit. I think it's curving down there. So I'm actually going to take that and get my eraser again. Way smaller here. As small as it goes. I'm really zoomed in. Erase a bit more. Not that much. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like now. Still have a little little thing there. Okay, let's see. Okay, and in this part I know I didn't make it quite go all the way across. So I'm going to get the black arrow now. And I said this was going to be the simpler one, didn't I? Well, there it is. All right, cool. So now I can uh, choose how I want to do this. So I think I will take my two shapes here. I'm going to hold Shift. Did I get those two? No, I'm going to get these two. It's easier to grab. Easier to grab. Okay, wait. Sorry. Wait, actually, hold on. Let's Let's try it this way. Bam, there we go. We'll just get them all, all at once. I was going to select them individually, but there's really no reason. All right, there we go. And, the, you know, the, the thing about this is if I have it all one shape, I can now, you know, very easily add my stroke to it. Not like, oh, I kept this small. That's why it's doing that. And obviously that looks terrible, but now I can align my stroke to the outside. And it will hopefully not look terrible. Now it is cutting, I think, in, no, is it cutting in there? Let's see. No, it's not there. It looks fine. All right, cool. All right, yeah, and I left that small. Totally forgot. I just zoomed in. Let's make it bigger. Holding shift, of course. Stroke a little bigger. There we go. All right, all right. Let's try another one. Let's try an H and a K. H, K. Let's not forget to make it larger. Again, I'm just going to hold Shift. Drag it bigger with my black arrow. And this one, let's, uh, let's try to get these uh, this stem here to line up 
with this part of the H here right there. So let us kern this thing all the way in. I'm just holding that kern button down. Until it until it lines up. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. And continue. Okay, there it goes. So look, I can just kind of look for when it lines up and then it hits the other side. So it's still going until I see this line right here start to move. There we go, then I go one back. And that one looks like it lines up pretty darn nicely. So, um, they happen to be almost identical. So that's not always the case, right? You might have to erase part of one um, serif or part of, or one of these stems and, uh, you know, and just use the other one. But this one, they line up pretty well. I didn't really have to do much to it. Just could line it up like that. Now, of course, um, if I want them, you know, if I want to add a stroke, I would um, go to type and I'd create outlines. And if I want it to just go around the whole thing, I'm going to have to obviously join these together. Okay, so it becomes one shape. And then I could add my stroke. Let's do a red stroke this time. And then I'm going to line it again to the outside. And now it will be on the right side of the path, right? We never want to bring that stroke on the inside of these letters. It will distort it and make it look very bad. <laughs> okay, so there's my H and my K. And uh, yeah, some simple things we can do. Um, okay, I think uh, we'll pause right here. And we're gonna do some words on the next video and kind of make some, eh, kind of like logos, I guess. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.